Nvidia is getting ready to launch at least three new RTX 30 series graphics cards in early 2022, despite the fact that they can't produce enough GPUs to satisfy the current demand. Those are RTX 3090 Ti or Super, we don't know the name yet, 3080 Super and an updated 3070 Ti or Super with 16GB of memory. In this video, I will go over the specs, performance, possible release timeframes and reasons why Nvidia is so keen on launching these new graphics cards. Let's start with the 3070 Ti or Super or whatever else they may eventually call it. It will have the same number of CUDA cores as the current 3070 Ti. The upgrade will be made in the memory department. It will be equipped with 16GB of GDDR6X. Nvidia is upgrading the memory in response to Intel Arc graphics cards that are also launching in Q1 2022 with 16 gigabytes of memory and 3070 Ti-like performance. Most likely, Nvidia will try to release the 16 gigabyte RTX 3070 series card just days before Intel will do its launch because they want to divert as much attention as possible away from Intel's first discrete graphics cards that will compete in the same price category. However, some leaks suggest that Intel will release only mobile Arc GPUs in Q1 2022 and desktop cards will arrive later in Q2. If that will be officially confirmed by Intel before launch, then we may see Nvidia push back their launch date as well. In terms of performance, the 16GB RTX 3070 Super Ti will perform just a few percent better than the current 3070 Ti that comes with 8GB of memory. Next up is RTX 3080 Super. It will be a minor upgrade to the 3080. It will have 8960 CUDA cores and 12GB of GDDR6X memory versus 8704 CUDA cores and 10GB on the regular RTX 3080. You think that it doesn't make any sense that 3070 will get 16GB and 3080 just 12? Me too, but I'm not surprised. Just to remind you, Nvidia sells RTX 3060 equipped with 12GB of memory, while 3080 has just 10 right now. And since Intel will not have anything to compete in the RTX 3080 price segment, Nvidia is not worried about having lower number of gigabytes printed on the box for the average consumer to see. In terms of performance, 3080 Super will likely be just below 3080 Ti. I saved the best for last. RTX 3090 Ti or Super, we don't know yet which name Nvidia will choose for this beast of a graphics card. It will have 10,752 CUDA cores and 24 gigabytes of 21 gigabit per second GDDR6X memory compared to the regular RTX 3090 with 10,496 CUDA cores and 24 gigabytes of 19.5 gigabit per second GDDR6X memory. The performance will improve by 5 to 10%. According to some rumors, this performance upgrade will come at expense of a massive power consumption increase. I am talking about 450 watts TDP on the reference design. That means over 500 watts on custom models by EVGA, MSI and others. For comparison, RTX 3090 is rated for 350 watts TDP, with some custom models consuming above 400 watts. Like this video if it was helpful, it was I, Vadim, until next time.